goodness gracious me, how appropriate. We're at the final night of regular games in the League of Legends. We've got great legends, Bobby George, Eric Bristow, John Lowe, all about to play darts. And the man who really they passed the torch to has come to watch him tonight. I think it's fantastic, Phil. And how appropriate that the last night of the regular season in the League of Legends, you should come here, because there's definitely a sense that the likes of Eric et al, they pass the torch to you, and you're the modern-day legend, and they're the legends of yesteryear. Oh, it's fantastic. Without, without Eric and John and Bobby George, whatever, and obviously I wouldn't be standing here talking to you today. It's fantastic. And tonight is a little bit special because you've got four players after three spots. And it's, I think Clef Lazarenko has just gone through. As has Peter now, so we've effectively got a winner-takes-all match. Keith needs to win, and he's... Peter and Cliff are now through. Right, I didn't know that. It gets even better. Well, I think, well, you've got Keith, Keith, Keith Dallas. Keith Dallas uh, is a winner, to be honest with you. And, and so is Dave Whitcomb. So I think you're in for a treat now. I've, I've you know something, I've really enjoyed myself tonight. I know, I can tell we've had a couple of chats up with you in the game. Yeah, it's a night off for me, and I've got. Normally I'm on there performing myself, and tonight I can relax, sit in the crowd. Let someone else take the strain. Yeah, let them have the let them have the punishment for a change. But listen, I don't want to put a time frame on it, but maybe five, maybe ten, maybe fifteen years. Could you see yourself in the League of Legends, or do you want to make it twenty? Do you know something? I don't know. I've, you know, the prize money is getting bigger and bigger. We're up to five million. We're going to go up to ten million. I mean, that's incredible. And again, and we were talking last week about it, and somebody said that you know, if it wasn't for the likes of Eric, Lowy, Bobby, George, it wouldn't. Without them, you wouldn't be playing for that kind yeah, of prize money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, even I think you're forgetting a few players. I think yeah. Jockey Wilson. I think you're forgetting the Leighton Reese. You know, Alan Evans. There's a lot of, of, of legends in this game. Without them, we would be here now. Of course, I wouldn't. But but. Now is the time for play darts, I think. Now that was the time for get your, get your darts out, have a practice and play because it's, it's a fantastic game to be involved in. Well, listen, Phil, it's fantastic to have you here. I know you're enjoying it. I look forward to having a drink with you later. And thanks for coming. It's been a fantastic night so far. The legend of today is here. It's time for two of the legends of yesterday to fight it out for a place. Friday Night Darts fans, welcome to the Betfred.com League of Legends. This is an eight-day tour across the UK. And night number seven brings us to the darts capital of the universe. We're in the Potteries. We're live from the King's Hall here at Stoke-on-Trent. Time now for legend number five of the evening. He's a former News of the World champion and two times World Masters champion. Stoke, would you welcome Big Dave Whitcomb! champion of the world, Stoke on Trent, would you welcome Keith Della? Oh, 
well, the third match of the evening, Keith Della against Dave Whitcomb. And we've had draws in each of our first two contests so far. And last week, Dave Whitcomb drew, and last week, Keith Della drew. But this, this particular match, well, if it's another draw, Dave Whitcomb will secure the fourth and final spot at the Circus Tavern next week. It wouldn't be enough for Keith Della, and as per his walk-on music, Della has got to turn in a blockbuster of a performance and win this one. Yes, he knows what he has to do as Keith. It's a must-win situation. And a lot of enjoyment going on here at the King's Hall and along them. Phil Taylor certainly enjoying himself. Nice when you've got a night off, you can come and watch a game of darts. So, as we know now, that last match, the draw, put them both through. Now there is problems on this stage for one of these two players. Yeah, it seems unthinkable that we could be here in the final evening of the round-robin stage and Dave Whitcomb might possibly miss out on a place in the last four because he was the undefeated league leader after four weeks, but he's not won the last three matches. And he really does need to reverse a trend that has, uh, has developed into his game, although last week coming back from 4-1 down against Everson to snatch a point, that may well be crucial. Yes, he's only lost the one match, but it's do or die for Witty. These are practice starts. I'm sure that it'll be David throwing first after these three. Our referee, Little Richard, he's on the stage. The two big men. I'm sure they've had more than uh, six darts, normally nine darts they've been having. But still, he stands to attention. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first leg, it's Keith to throw first. Game on! So Little Richard gets this big match for these two players underway. Fifty-nine. Get the best of order. <laughs> well, I know his son doesn't wear glasses for one yeah. thing. One hundred and forty. Twenty-five years since Keith Della won the world title. Of course, just across the way there in the. One hundred and thirty-five. No longer. Jolly's nightclub, it's uh, now land that's been totally demolished and redeveloped, but this city holds so many memories for all these stars. Yes, I have a few as well, God, dear. Plenty of late nights. Used to play poker till uh, eight in the morning and have breakfast. Never forget it. Yep, it's known for its pottery and its ceramics and Robbie Williams and lots of other links, but it really is true what some of those placards say that State 60 is the home of darts. We used to have big pots on the play pot. Nicky Verashkel brings back memories. He's passed away now, isn't Nicky? But as it is this 93. match, <clears throat> let's concentrate on this because this is important. Known as Mr. Consistency. Did he require 131. He hasn't been as consistent of late. Not 138, 131, Keith. Yeah, took out three ton plus finishes last week, Tony. 42. Davey require 141. Spectral. He's got the one. Who starts already in this first leg? 41. So Della 89, 89. Will be treble 19. Now 20 and bullseye would be the shot. Middle for Diddle. And there it is. From Del Boy. First leg on the board. For the man from Ipswich, Della leads 1-0. Game on. Well there it is. That's our replay. 
And them's the ones that win matches, guaranteed. Them finishes. 100. So the first leg goes with the darts. Settling down. 60. Yeah, Dave Whitcomb will be hoping that all 12 legs go with the darts because he will know that that six all draw will be enough to take him through to meet Bob Anderson, Peter Everson, and Cliff Lazarenko on that Circus Tavern 41. stage next week. It's a lot better from Dave the last time at uh, Rivermead. He was uh, just falling short, didn't have his pitch. 63. All going underneath the wire, but now just get that little bit more elevation. Eighty-four. Well, he only hopes so. Engrossed is Phil. One hundred and eighty. Well, we saw Phil. We saw Della, we saw 180, and they love it. Forty-three. Oh, not far away. This could be a good score as well. To follow that 180. 100. Down to 98, 12 darts thrown. Certainly getting through to Dave. Yeah, it was the perfect dart. Uh, darting mark of the first one from Della and uh, Whitcomb 60. in danger. Keith, you're the first 98. two legs here. Keith looking mean, focused, and determined now. Double 12 from 98 check. 86. And he'll be back. Yes, he didn't have a finish of 173. Well, a bit of pressure now on double Keith, six. Means across. Double three. Last chance Keith, saloon and he hits it. Keith Della. Two nil up goes Della. Match he must win. That's what it means. Dave there. Solid. The lead Keith to throw first. Game on. Yes, plenty of good-natured banter with the Bridlington crowd last week. Keith Della, but right now, all he's thinking about is securing these seven 23. legs. Two safely tucked under his belt, and he's kicked off this one with uh, 4.23. Swan is with the real John Lowe. Yeah, he's up the river as well. 100! Really engrossed the crowd. <laughs> Fifty nine. Chance for Wickham. Good chance now. Twenty three fifty nine doesn't win matches from Keith. Fifty one. Perspiring. Under pressure. Thirty-nine. Step in, Mr. Whitcomb. Or oh, witty. He looks like Colin Lloyd as well. Yeah, but three out of ten for spelling. Good second dart from ninety-nine. Dave and, uh, the man from Sittingbourne fails to convert the treble. Nineteen shot. Ninety-nine. Now he's got a healthy lead in this one. Remember, Della started this third leg. It's time for Whitcomb 95. to up his game and get back in this contest. 30 points ahead plus these. 3 deal flights. 59. Yes, yeah, so all these two. 100. a better dart. 
100. Doesn't like them below the treble 20 wire. Good steady darts though from Whitcomb. Della 185. He's uh, well adrift. This leg and sloppy darts. They were all over the place. Maybe though. require 92. May go for the bull here. <clears throat> Would sensible to do that. That's it. Because now, yeah, just checking it. 17. He's now going for the bull. Yes, Yay, two bulls. What a lot of bull we've got here tonight. One for Della, one for Wickham. Brilliant. I love it, the crowd. Yep, you can't beat a bit of bully. I think that's the highest finish of the night so far, 92. 60. Oh, yeah, look, they're happy, look. Both of them shouting to one each. Reminded Cliff had that big 130 finish, of course, in the last contest. Whitcomb's 92 has firmly set him back on the road to recovery here, and with the darts, he'll be looking to push on. 43. That's not good enough, though, in a match that really for these two players it's going to end in huge disappointment for one of them. Strange, I mentioned. Uh... 60. Earlier in the series, but, uh, about the players wearing glasses, and we've got two of the youngest here who are wearing glasses. Maybe a few with contact lenses. One hundred. Yeah, two good markers. One hundred. Yeah, well, I can tell you. <coughs> Down in Australia, but Keith Della will be uh, family out there watching. 18. Kim, his uh, wife, out in Australia. Some of her family are Johnny Why Evans, her? Sally Evans, young Paul. Thinks the chance is out, Keep North Canada. 146. Out in Australia. Can't finish now. So Dave Whitcomb, good finish of 118. 88. Let's see how he goes on with this one. Dave, you require 118. To square the match. Couldn't believe it. Just does not believe it. Yep, missed a great opportunity there to give himself a shot at squaring it up. And now Della Keith, you require with a 58. surprise opportunity to stretch his advantage. Double top now for the 3 1 lead. Pulled that one just slightly. Yay, but refocuses and firmly in the heart of the bed. Keith Della, a 58 check and takes a 3 1 lead. Fifth leg, Keith to throw first. Game on. One more leg before the break. Saw the reaction there of Keith Della. Means so much. 40. The league is completed tonight. It's then knockout. Number one will play number four. Number two will play number three. 40. Now, Whitcomb's got to bounce back in this leg, ideally. 59. Trailed, as we said, 4-1 to Everson at the interval last week and got back for a share of the points. That really would be putting 45. a fine line between qualifying and not qualifying, should it go the distance in this one. Della finds the first one. And finds the final dart, 123 for Keith. Yes, Dave doesn't want to be going in at 4-1 down. He has to do something now. Look at all the chalk around that treble 20 bed. 41. It's still to come. His, 
He hasn't got muscles like that. 97. So, Dave, these are the ones to do something with these next two. 60. Not enough. So, 182 for Della. They're looking for a two dart finish. 96. But 96. Piling the pressure on Whitcomb. Yeah, it's a good finish, is 86. For uh, Keith, and it's another. One hundred. Here we go. If you require eighty-six. Is it break point? Let's see. Single eighteen, all the treble. He'll be going for the ball, and another yes, ball. Keith Della. Four-one. He leads this Keith Della. Two bulls eyes. Makes the score line very good at the break. Keith Della 4, Dave Wickham 1. Lucky 31. That's a bonus. Betfred.com. Proud to bring you the League of Legends. Welcome back to the League of Legends here on Second Trent. Uh, we're currently into this big crunch match three. Keith Della leading four legs to one over David Wickham at the moment. I'm joined by Delph Wickham. Dave's lovely wife. How are you feeling at the moment, my lovely? Um, not very happy. Um, you can admit, um, it was 4-1 down last week at the break and come back for a draw, so fingers crossed. What's he got to do? What would you be saying to him if you were up there? Pull your finger out. <laughs> Have a word with yourself. And uh, just play his own game. He's, he's such an awesome player. And he just, he's put so much pressure on himself to get through to the last four for the circus next week. Um, a draw would do, Dave. Um, a loss wouldn't help him out at all. Is that what you think the problem is, that he knows psychologically a draw would do? We're definitely at the business end of the tournament. And he knows what he's got to do. And he's just put pressure on himself. That's all he's done. But you've been his good luck charm so far, haven't you? Hasn't lost while you've been watching? I'll settle for a draw tonight. And what do you go through when you watch him? Torment. <laughs> if, if, I would imagine, I haven't had children, but I would imagine it's worse than labour. <laughs> well, don't say that to people that have had children. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, just finally, what does this mean to him? To get oh, it means everything. It means everything to all the boys tonight, you know. Even, even you know, Bobby George played awesome, you know, because they don't want to go up there and play rubbish. They want to show the crowd what they can do, and they're all really good players, and it means a lot to them. Well, let's see what they can do. Let's get back to that action. Well, there you go. And Delph's in the right place here in the Potteries. But her husband has to win from this stage five legs to two to take him through to next Friday's Thank you, ladies final. and gentlemen. The sixth leg is Dave to throw first. Game on. Settle in. He has the advantage. The marker's there. 100. You better hand it to Keith Geller. He's uh, come out to do a job this evening, and thus far he'll be uh, pleased with his performance. It's ticking all the boxes as far as he's concerned. He's four legs to one up, and he's really restricting Whitcomb to a distance. Dave Whitcomb yet hasn't had a shot at one of the conventional 20 doubles. He's had one crack at the bullseye, which he hit, but apart from that, he hasn't thrown a single dart to yet any of the doubles. Yes. Like I said, he's in a position now, he's in the zone where he can feel comfortable, throw his natural throw, feel more relaxed. 96. But he still has to win three legs, does Della, to take him through. Said the permutations, plenty. Enough room there for you, Dave. 125. Well, he was disappointed with that one, but uh, if he can take a crumb of comfort, it was what... Delph was referring to in her interview with Natalie. 4-1 down against Everson at the seaside last week, and he came back to snatch a point. Dave, you require looks as if he's going to have to do something similar this evening. What a great leg this is. Dave, turn 137, 125. 16. Keith Della, 140, Keith 96, 131. Also finishing. So Dave, back to 79. 
94. Option Dave Maguire, 79. Trouble 19. Good help. Trouble 13. Gone for the 19. Sensible. Single 20. Double top. Oh, 59. a wire away. Keep well, we were just saying it. He hadn't had a single dart at one of the outer doubles as yet. Now he has, and he's missed it. And will he rue that costly miss as Della steps yes, in to make it 5 1 Keep with a double 10? And Della is just two legs away Seven now legs. from a place in the last four. Game on. There it is, the replays. There's the reaction. It does mean a lot to Keith Della. It means a lot to every one of these players that's taken part in the legends. And some of the 13. great performances they've put in. They've Just attracted to... great big crowds here, there and everywhere. Right throughout the country. And entertainment as well. 99. But Dave... Looks lazy in his action, but he'll be feeling the heat. 59. Well, Keith really needed that one. He began with a 13 and then two single ones to follow it up. Just uh, reminding myself that Dave Whitcomb began this 16. league, beating Lowe, George and Bristow, and then drawing with Bob Anderson in week four. Seven points out of eight, but it's been heavy going for him since. And Phil there, 120. he took Della, said he's a winner, everyone loves a winner. Fifty-nine. Really got into the action as the crowd. Good venue as well, this. I don't think it's used much for darts. One hundred. <laughs> Should have been a minor. 140! Well, they've really needed that one. Just beginning to wonder where he was going to get some inspiration from, but can that 140 just trigger a fight back? 84. Still struggling with it. Dave, you require 143. That's a finish for Keith, but here we go. He needs it. 59. No treble amongst them. Keep 105 the score for 6-1. 85. Trouble 15, double top. He wants double top. Yeah. And he's hit double top. He's 6 one in front. He's just running away with it, Isdella. There it is. Really, really good performance this from Keith Della. Game on! And for Dave Whitcomb, the task now, on paper at any rate, is simple. He's got five legs of darts to play, and he's got to win them all. Well, he's got to kick eye up for the best. 97. Because it's last chance to learn whatsoever. He has to win the next five legs. 43. And it's not impossible. Remember Phil Nixon and Martin Adams final. Six sets down, came back to draw 6-6. Six, six. 99. Struggling. Pressure. 97. Yeah, he's just staying on his... Uh, his tails. Well, having begun the night in fifth place and possibly the just hold on that thought for a moment as Wickham, uh, Wickham tries to find a maximum he doesn't but having uh, begun the night in fifth place Della and uh, potentially struggling to get a place in the final you now start to begin and wonder and look at possible form horses for next week and on this showing De Della's odds are going to come tumbling down to win the whole thing I think Dave would like to have some odds. 43. So 1-2-2, two, two. that is the scoreline. 57. 
Maybe require 120. 18 is the shot. Treble 18 and leave him the ball. So another treble. 19. This leaves him double 16. I think he's looking good for this leg, uh, Dave. Yep, he'll be back for double 16. 98, 98 from Dele. require 32. Gives him a 106 if he gets a chance, but Wickham, yeah, no. Yes, that's the eighth leg. Straight in the Dave middle of the double 16 Nine, bed. Eight, and that's one Game of on. those five legs we were talking about. The yeah. task gets easier, he needs four now. Yeah, first of the five. 140! But what a start. A 140, first three darts. And like I said, if you want pressure, you're seeing it now 41. coming from Dave Wickham. That could be the end for David. Led, led to the half stage. Well, <laughs> I think that's leg end. I think it's a relative. Good darts these though from Wickham. <laughs> oh, can you get three thick darts like that in that corner? What a shot that was! Ninety-seven. The true professional, Dave Wickham. You'll never give up. Now in the land of Wedgwood, certainly wedged that final one in there, just to the right of the bed, and he's uh, it's another one here. He's, uh, 140. 180, 140. Require 124. But this is for the match. 64 left. No, he went for the treble. 16 could have gone for 14 92. ball. Will he regret that? Dave, you require one. Wickham then for 140. Needs a big treble doesn't get it so Della will be back he will be back whatever the outcome of this throw 100. double 16 for the contest keep your require 32 takes his time looks at double 16 yeah. there it is Shot. And the match. He's Della. we had to win and he won in style 7-2 victory for Keith Della. We now know the top four who will be playing at the Circus Tavern next Friday. It looks good. He's a brave man. He's trying for a lucky 15. That's a bonus. Betfred.com. He's landed a treble. Betfred.com. Proud to bring you the League of Legends. Oh, what a night of darts, and it's not all over yet. Your back line is stoked, and don't forget the boxing on Satanta continues. Top class boxing, the WBO flyweight title of the world is up for grabs as Ivan Calderon takes on Hugo Cesares Saturday the 30th of August, live and exclusive on Satanta Sports 1. Right, we now know the semi-final lineup. Let's have a quick look at the league table. The four names that will be with us again on Friday as we dance for the last time at the Circus Tavern. Bob Anderson, Keith Neller, Cliff Lazarenko and Peter Everson. And the way it turns out is that Bob Anderson takes on Peter Everson in our first semi-final. They'll be first onto the hockey. And it's a rerun of the game that started it all off. 77 nights ago at the Circus Tavern. Best friend against best friend, Keith Dallarella. Keith Della will take on Cliff Lazarenko. It's 7 o'clock, so Tanner Sports 2, exclusively live. I'll come to you in a minute, Keith. I've got to start with you, Dave. You led the league table for many, many weeks but you faltered when it counted most, and I hate to say it, but it's almost a mirror image of your heyday. When it came to the crunch in your heyday, you were just found wanting, and mate, I think you've been fantastic. I love you to death, but you've been found wanting again. Thanks for that. Um, I don't see it that way. Uh, I played well the first four weeks. Uh, I played bad against Cliff. Uh, I scraped a goal against Peter, and I lost tonight. That's not actually a disaster. Uh, I've only lost two games all the way through. 
So if you look at it that way, and, and I played quite well tonight and lost, so it's, it's, not, it's not actually been a total disaster there. I mean, the, the, the thing is, it's the overall league table we've got to look at, not from who does what on day one, which is what I said, someone had to be top, someone had to be bottom. But after the start you made, I mean, we were talking about you and Bob for the first three, four weeks. It, you looked to shoe him for a, for a semi-final place. I don't want to twist the knife, mate, because I know you and I know Delph will be hurting afters, but you can put a brave face and you must be mightily disappointed. At least, I suppose, next year, please, God, you can put it right. Well, at the end of the day, I'm the only one of these eight players that is totally inactive. I mean, all the other seven players are, are, are out doing exhibitions. I've come basically out of retirement to play in this, and I don't think I've put up a bad show. Um, I, I, I had as long as it, it took to, to prepare, uh, but uh, it's still not the same as match practice. I mean, these fellas are out doing exhibitions. Uh, 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 Peter, uh, Peter Everson, he's playing county again. I'm not doing anything. I'm just playing darts in the pub. So, OK, so I, I drew with Bob Anderson and I drew with Peter Everson, two of the favourites. I've lost two games. It's I don't think that's that bad. It's not, mate. And rest assured, you have put on a fantastic show. But I'm just looking at the bigger picture. When we were talking in the early weeks, I thought you were destined to have a semi-final place. And let's look at the bright side. Please, God, we all come back next year. Is this giving you the hunger now to maybe go back on the exhibition circuit, take the dance more seriously again? Because you've shown enough to prove that if you maybe step it up that notch, next year you'll be among the frontrunners. Well, I was talking to, to Phil Taylor earlier, and I said to him, um, we was talking about health, and um, I said to him, look, I said, I'm up here sweating. I said, you've done really well with your weight. We was, he was giving me advice on what to do about it. I mean, I'm not 22 anymore. I can't carry that amount of weight. You know, it's, it's ridiculous, man of my age being this size. Uh, the heat's affecting me, everything else. So, um, but uh, I, am, I am, yeah, I'm still bit di bitterly disappointed um, that I haven't got through. At the end of the day, it's not a disaster in as much as, if you look at the overall picture, oh, I haven't done that bad. And will you come back next year if it happens again? I will come back next year and I will win this title. That's what we like to hear. I want to hear it for a gentleman, Dave Wickham. <laughs> Dave Wickham, unfortunately, won't be at the Circus Tavern on Friday in a playing capacity. He'll be there cheering on, I'm sure, and supporting our four semi-finalists. And one of those semi-finalists is the man that's to my right, Keith Deller. Keith, I said right from the get-go, we've talked regularly. I think it means more to you than anybody else, and you needed to deliver tonight, and you did. I, th I think it means a lot to everybody, really, Patrick. I mean, uh, I think Dave's been very unlucky because I was going on tonight, and Dave's lost two games, I've lost two games. It's been five players and three players that have struggled, and maybe that's what's upset the actual league table, because there's five players going for four spots, and... I've got to be honest, uh, Cliff's a great mate of mine, my best mate, and I, all of a sudden he was in trouble and a draw was good for me. It's very hard to protect a draw, and I think Dave was, no, knew a draw was enough. I knew I had to win, and I think really, I don't, we used to, Dave and myself for 25 years, are used to playing to win, not to get a draw. So I'm really pleased to win. I mean, I do show a little bit of aggression. I get a couple of two ball finishes, but... David, a brilliant last leg, put me under pressure, but I'm pleased to get through, and I look forward to next week. I'll tell you something, in that kind of form, you were sensational, you'll be a match for anyone, never mind your best mate, Cliff Lazarenko at the Circus Tavern, a week tonight. I'm through to the semi-finals, I'm really pleased, I thought that I, had the, I was behind the black ball tonight, I've got a chance next week to win it now. Well... Keith Dell has got a chance to win it this year. Dave Wickham says he'll win it next year. Two guys that have done themselves proud on the League of Legends circuit.